at the Big D Ranch outside of Meridian, the grain trucks line up each day with the 2020 harvest. Idaho farmers were pessimistic about this year's crop due to a rough spring and hail damage. But broker Richard Durant says the tide has changed. Just from the production standpoint, everybody's got good yields. So. Good yields so far with dry land harvests on the Palouse fetching up to 120 bushels per acre. Irrigated acres in the Magic Valley could bring even more. It's too early to tell, but according to the Wheat Commission, 2020 could rank in Idaho's top 10 all-time yields. I think for for our area, our yields are average to above average. I mean, we're not seeing any excellent yields, but uh, as far as grain looking good, test weight's good. And with high yields comes another problem, where to put the mountains of wheat. All areas of the state production has been good, so, uh, so everybody's going to be pushed for the ability to store store the market, store, store the crop before we get it to market. So we'll, we'll, keep, we'll keep working our way through there and hopefully the exporters can find some good markets to, uh, that we can keep the crop turnover and keep uh, the price stable anyway. I'd, I'd like to say 450 is going to be our low, low, but at this point I'm not guaranteeing anything. So. National Ag Stat says spring wheat production is forecast at 41.8 million bushels, up 7% because of a big increase in planted acres this year. And the USDA predicts Idaho will have the nation's highest yields for both fall and spring wheat. For the voice of Idaho Agriculture, I'm Jake Putnam.